The Jeer Falcon, the world's largest and most powerful falcon. At twice the size of a peregrine falcon, their brute strength and agility is a dangerous dichotomy that has helped Jeer Falcons become the quintessential arctic raptor. Ptarmigan, shorebirds, and small mammals are all on the menu for nestling Jeer Falcons that eat 5 to 10 times a day. The arctic ecosystem contains some of the most unique expanses of land on earth helping to make the creatures that call it home some of the most awe-inspiring. After thousands of generations, the Jeer Falcon has become a finely tuned arctic specialist, but now its world is changing. Although anthropogenic climate change is a global issue, some of the most rapid and dramatic consequences are occurring within the arctic ecosystem. As the climate warms, the open tundra is rapidly being replaced with dense shrubs, making hunting more difficult for Jeer Falcons. The warming temperatures are also bringing new competitors and pathogens to the Arctic, making life more difficult for Arctic specialists. Along with temperature increases, the Arctic is experiencing more severe and frequent storm systems, which can result in the death of young nestlings, making breeding more difficult for Jeer Falcons. The only way we can confront the novel challenges that Jeer Falcons face is by having an in-depth understanding of their biology and implementing scientifically sound conservation. As a world leader in raptor conservation, the Peregrine Fund, along with our partners at Alaska Department of Fish and Game, started the Jeer Falcon and Tundra Conservation Program with the sole purpose of gaining a comprehensive understanding of the northernmost breeding raptor. Our research is performed on the Seward Peninsula in western Alaska, where we survey nearly 1,000 cliff sites to monitor the large-scale trends within the Jeer Falcon population. We also address specific scientific questions in order to advance our understanding. But to do this, we have to get to the remote places in which Jeer Falcons breed. Once we arrive at the nesting sites, we build anchors on top of cliffs and use rock climbing techniques in order to rappel down to the nest. We install motion activated cameras near Jeer Falcon nests to learn about their diet and behavior. We have about 2 million of these photos which continue to teach us invaluable information. As nestlings get older, we revisit nests in order to collect data on the nestlings. We fit each nestling with an individually coded color band so that in the future these birds can be identified through a spotting scope and we can follow them throughout their lives. We also collect blood and feather samples from nestlings, which allows us to keep a close eye on the changes in their health, as well as provides us a genetic sample for each bird. Our fieldwork is giving us a better understanding of the world's largest falcon, so that we can protect them for future generations. We are also taking steps to introduce the general public to this majestic species, and share how our results are changing our understanding of climate change and jeer falcons. Here at the Peregrine Fund, we sure love our work, but in order to ensure that Jeer Falcons can thrive and soar throughout the Arctic, we need your support. For more information on what you can do to help, please visit peregrinefund.org.